<laughs> Welcome to Intentionally Broke. My name's James Hayes, and on this episode of Why the Fuck Would You Put That on a Credit Card, we've got this one couple who doesn't seem to be able to get their shit together, but I wonder, who do you think is to blame? Smash the like button, let's get straight into the video. I encouraged him to take a job that was a massive pay cut. It actually caused me quite a bit of stress. She's expected him to take a job that's a significant pay cut. Why do you think this reason's for? Because Eddie's kind of stuck with me. He's stuck with a lot of my debt. Eddie's kind of stuck with me. I've got the debt, but he has to suffer. Spending is out of control. We argue about money because we don't have it. You people are totally screwed. One of the things that I just don't understand. I'm quite sure once we break this down, I've only seen the first five seconds of this. Chances are we're going to break down their income and they're going to have plenty of money. I don't understand. You and your partner should be on the same page about money. So let's see where they're going wrong. My name is Ed and uh, I'm a pilot. Don't pilots make a lot of money? My name is Brandy. I'm 27 and I'm in property management. That's a pretty decent gig. One day you're in Chicago, next day you're in New York City, next day you're in Hong Kong. Fuck me, Ed. 40k a year. 40k a year to be a pilot. This show was shot about 10 years ago, so it's still a pretty decent income. It's fun. It's fun job. Ed gets his cheap flights and all it costs is 20 bucks. What? $20 for a cheap flight? That's incredible. I wonder, at that stage, if you're giving $20 flights, what's the point of the... $20. Where does that money go? Where does that money go? I guess it's just a gesture because if everyone had free flights, they would just take the piss. I don't know. Maybe it's a psychological thing. What do you think? But hang on. She earns $45,000 a year. Property manager earns more than a pilot. You would fucking think the pilot would be making more money, wouldn't you? actually get there. Can we meet me in Boston tonight? Yes. Okay. But then we have to book our hotel. And then there's the dinners and there's the entertainment. I love... And we have to book a hotel. Okay, fair enough. When you're going overseas or interstate or whatever, hotel kind of is a must, especially back then when there was no cheaper alternatives like Airbnbs or whatever like. But having to go out for dinner, you don't fucking have to do anything. You don't. You don't have to go out for dinner. You want to go out for dinner. I my money on shoes. Rock climbing, brunch, sushi. I love going to the spa. I'm very enjoyable. He likes to buy the best of the best. He likes to buy the best of the best. Um, I don't understand this. People wanting high quality things, I get. But getting the top notch quality? Are we focused on the quality or are we focused on the price tag, Ed? Why do you want to drink poor wine? Oh, they're wine drinkers. Okay, a couple of years ago, full disclosure, I went to uh, Sydney. I'm in Adelaide, South Australia. And I went to Sydney with a good friend of mine and we stayed at the Hyatt Hotel. Uh, right on the forefront, uh, we, we had the best room. It was incredible. And I thought, my friend Carlos really liked a bottle of wine. And I'm like, oh, fuck this. I'm just going to get the highest end wine. I'm not no connoisseur, but I could not taste the difference between that and Goonbag. Does anyone here know what Goonbag is? Who needs a $400 blender? Who the fuck needs a $400 blender? That's what I don't get. She caught my eye the very first time I saw her. Oh, oh, who wants to guess if this car's financed? I hear these high heels clicking across the floor. I look up and Brandy's standing there in front of me. Little Dino, she never be my wife. I've probably given her too much gifts, but that's just the way I am. He bought new Tiffany necklaces, a new bracelet, this ring, this ring, of course, which is <laughs> pretty fabulous. Ed and I are getting married and we're trying to plan a wedding. Oh the amount of money she owes, I personally think is relatively large. Ed hates. Okay. He thinks it's a lot of money. How much debt do you think this uh, woman's in? I, I wonder. Uh, 20, 30, 40, I don't know. I reckon, okay, they're earning about $85,000 a year. Bad debt, I reckon 20 grand. I think 20 grand is what's going to be the number here. What do you think? My school debt. I don't want to take care of because when I marry her, it's my problem. And I don't want that problem. When we first met, I was making a lot more money. Based on reduction. Previous combined income, $160,000. Do you have any of that saved? Did you use that money to pay off any debt? I don't think so, Ed. Net income basically around the same time. This has been a big financial hit. Now that his income has gone down, he still spends a lot of money on me. Having a partner. You don't have 
to spend money on your partner to show love. You can't buy someone's love. This is disgusting. Can cost money, right? And it, that's fact. You know when you become adults, everything kind of sneaks up on you. I've had to go into my retirement fund a little bit and... He had to go into the retirement fund for what? Why, Ed? Why? Why are you doing this to yourself? He's not ring with that. He's closer to retirement than I am. <laughs> but I don't want to be in a situation where I reach retirement and can't retire. I hope that Gail will assist us in establishing a route to dig us out of the hole. So this is a part of the show where the finance guru goes to the house and checks out the house, sees where they're spending money, and has the first initial conversation with the couple. I wonder, wonder where we are. Just, we don't know much about this couple at the moment. Ah, Brandy loves pearls, and Ed loves buying them for her. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Aha! These would be all of Ed's shirts. One, two, three, <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20. There are a lot of shirts in there. Okay. I get that he needs to have these spiffy shirts for work, but I don't think all this is work uniform. This guy likes to look suave. Hey, Ed! Hello. Are you a little bit of a clothes horse, honey bunny? I like shirts. Hmm. Oh, she is judging the fuck out of him. Look at the bike car. It actually was Ed, just over $2,000. 2000 $2, Ed, and you're looking like that. My dude, I'm not the thinnest of characters, but if you're spending $2,000 on a bike, why aren't you using it, bro? $400 for a blend. That's what I was, that's what I was saying. $400 for a blender, serious. 47,000 RPM. <laughs> well, that would be important if you were flying it to China. <laughs> Who the fuck buys such an expensive gadget because of the RPM? Am I here? Basically, I have a lot of debt. Yes, Brandy, tell us how much debt you've got. I think that all of this stems from the fact that you have a lot of debt? Uh, no, I think there's two factors involved. That being a massive factor, and the other factor being that he has to also learn how to adjust his spending. So why do you- He has to learn to adjust his spending, because you've got debt. Well, let's be honest, if one, one or both of you in a couple has some debt, you should both tighten your purse straps and work towards getting that debt down. Being on less income, mm. you also think it's a great idea to take money out of your retirement plan to buy Brandy a ring. Hang on, he took the money out for a ring. Nothing says I love you more than taking out your retirement fund for a ring. She don't deserve a ring, you don't deserve to give her that ring. Giving up your retirement for a ring. Why couldn't you just save $1,000 and get her a nice ring? Why? It is a beautiful ring. Well, what were you thinking? I mean, I mean, have a look at that ring and you tell me if it would be worth risking your retirement on. Like, what? Well, you're putting it kind of like realistically now, so it doesn't sound all that good. It's fucking terrible, Ed, and I don't know why you thought it was a good idea. That's the problem with retirement savings. Here in Australia, we've got superannuation and people were able to take $10,000 out for COVID, right? Okay, fair enough if you're, you're, you're really, really on the bones of your ass and you've got nothing else to do. But this guy's willingly took it out for a ring. How's he supposed to support his wife and his future children if he can't even support himself? What kind of a man is this? You're spending... One could go so far as to say it's out of control. Because I, I don't want to have clothing that looks worn and is out of style. Bitch, don't you realise that every clothing you've got is going to look worn when you're wearing it? She has $30,000 worth. $38,000. That is tremendously more than what I thought it was. She's got $38,000 and she gives a fuck about the way she looks, and he took money out of his retirement savings to put a... Fuck off. I don't know if women do this, but if my girlfriend gave me a ring from her retirement savings, I'd leave her. You're supposed to be building something together, not building an appearance. They be my candidates for no money. <laughs> the reason why nobody has ever gotten zero dollars is because I always think to myself, there might be one worse. 
what I don't understand is part of this show is she puts them on a budget and most of the time they uh, actually almost all the time they go on the budget and they make the changes and then she gives them $5,000 she rewards them for getting their life together what the fuck? Okay, I get it's a TV show, but what I don't understand is why would you reward someone for doing something that's in their best interests? So this is the part of the show where Gail breaks down their budget, their income, how much debt they've got, what they've got to do, blah, 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 blah. Let's see where they're spending their money. Think to myself, there might be one worse, but you might be them. <laughs> You guys are starting your relationship off together with $40,000 worth of debt. $40,000 worth of debt. And this yobbo thinks it's alright to take money out of his retirement account. Fuck me. You broke Ed. You broke Barbie or whatever your name is. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to yourself? This is, again, one of the reasons why I say broke people never look broke. 30,000 of which is Brandy's student loans. Is that more than you thought it was, Ed? That's a fuck ton of money. That is a fuck ton of money. Uh, I thought it was 27,000. You, you thought, thought it was 27,000. 27, How can you be so wrong, Ed? Here's the thing. At the rate that you're repaying some of these loans, it's going to take you the better part of 12 to 14 years to get them paid up. Ah, uh, they're going to be in their mid-40s before they pay this off. And he thinks it's okay to get a ring from his retirement savings, Ed. Oh my gosh, Ed. You're s How can someone be smart enough to become a pilot and can't put one plus one together? Fuck. And by the time you do, your $30,000 worth of student loans will end up costing you another $22,000 oh, in interest. Gosh. That's super. <laughs> That's disgusting. What did she say? Costing you another $22,000 in interest. That's super. That's super. <laughs> you fuck. You. Come on. Let it go. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. To you to go and look and say... Why is my debt growing if I'm making payments? I didn't really pay attention to it. Of course, of course you, didn't. you didn't. You didn't, you didn't pay, pay attention. attention. A, lot A lot of people don't, don't pay, pay attention, attention to these, to these things. things. Okay, I'm going to open another screen now. Before I open the screen, I want to say something to you too. It is not healthy to have a financial situation where you pay $1,100 worth of the rent and Brandy pays 400 This is something I say all the time. Couples have to do 50-50 no matter what their income is. That's what me and my partner do. That's what fucking Jesus would have done. It's just the way it works. 50-50, cut down the middle, you're equal parts in the relationship. Every other fixed payment seems to be Ed's responsibility and the play seems to be Brandy's. So let's break this down. What she's spending money on. Magazines, $20. Entertainment, $300. Uh, that's a lot of money when you're broke. Spending money? What the fuck is a magazine's money for? Spending, it's all fucking spending money. $150. Uh, miscellaneous. Uh, $160. Mm, interest in her hobbies. $75. What kind of interest in hobbies is going to cost you $75? Family and gifts. Again, a broke couple giving gifts. If you're broke, don't give gifts. Your friends and family don't want gifts if you're broke. They want you to be out of debt. Vacation. We all know what I feel. We all know how I stand here. Don't go on a vacation if you are broke. Broke people deserve to go to work. Broke people don't deserve to go on a holiday. Yeah. This is the most irresponsible couple we've seen so far. It's like you're keeping it separate for a reason. I guess everybody carries baggage forward in life and yeah. that's just the way my life was before. It is time to put the baggage down and decide that you have a joint life. Mm -hmm. That you do not have two separate lives that intersect over brunch. 
What's next is how much you're overspending by every single month. Oh, this is going to be interesting. How much do you think they're going over budget? I want to say 2400 a month. That's just what I think. I think it'll be a lot more. But I won't be surprised if it's 2500 How much? 2000 more. She reckons 2000 more. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's see. 2000 mm, 17 something. 17. 17. You're overspending my $4,000. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. $4,000? Do you know how much $4,000 is? It's enough to get you a car. It's enough to get you a fucking holiday to 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 uh, anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. How is that possible? Yeah, Ed. How the fuck's it possible, bro? How's it possible? Please do tell. That's a lot of money. Here's the budget numbers you gave me. Here are the actual numbers that we posted. Oh yeah, okay. Because I didn't count on the average of some of the things. You're overspending by more than $4,000 a month. And if you keep it up, in five years, you'll have $350,000 worth of debt with no house and no baby as part of that. Oh, and the worst thing is, they're in their 30s and they're renting. Prepared to do anything. I just don't understand this. This is one of the reasons why you have to keep yourself in check. You don't need to look rich if you're broke. You don't have to take money out of your retirement. I don't like how it doesn't show how much money you took out of your retirement savings for the ring. There's this stupid, 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 stupid thought process out there that you have to spend three months of your income on an engagement ring. That's why probably Ed's taken money out of his retirement because he wouldn't be able to fund it otherwise. At least he's got retirement. Over in America, you 401k, it's not compulsory. Over here in Australia, superannuation is. Your employer pays 10.5% uh, on top of your wages that goes straight to your superannuation. So at least Ed's doing that right. What I don't understand is apparently you're supposed to spend three months worth of your income on a ring. Uh, where did this come from? It came from De Beers itself or De Beers or whatever it's called. It's the guys who have the monopoly on all the, the, uh, the diamond industry. It's it's the guys who own almost all the diamond industries telling you that. It was an ad campaign many moons ago that made you feel like a diamond is a girl's best friend and whatever. I earn $9,000 on average a month. So are you telling me I've got to spend like, what is it, $25,000 to $30,000 on a ring for my girlfriend when I propose? Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. It's just ludicrous. All these fucking rules we have. If you look at yourself in the mirror before you go out and you say, fuck, I look successful, fuck, I look rich, check your bank account. And if you don't have more money in your bank account than you have in clothes, you're not doing well financially and you need to get your shit together. Thanks very much for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoy the type of content. Feel free to add me on Instagram and TikTok where I post pretty much daily and subscribe here on the YouTube channel and let me know what you thought of the content. It means a lot, thanks for watching.